that Paolo gave you in the third and, and Franz in the fourth, just just how big were those two guys in helping you bring, bring you back into the game? I mean, it was necessary uh, for those guys to get going. Like, you know, Paolo got us going in that third, like you said, and then Franz got himself going in the fourth. But, you know, obviously our guys stayed resilient. They stayed within the fight, you know, got it to a six-point game before that foul was called, you know, on Wendell. So it, we gave ourselves a chance. Uh, obviously, you don't like being in that scenario early, but that shows the fight and the grit of our guys. Yeah, early on, obviously, the, the Grizzlies are, are elite at it, but and you had done so well against the it the previous night, but just how tough were they getting into the paint and, and containing that area? Well, Ja, ja is a different, you know, <laughs> different type of guy when it comes to that. You know, he finds different ways to navigate himself in the lane. You have Steven Adams who sets unbelievable screens. Uh, and then, you know, Jaron Jackson got, him, got himself going tonight. Uh, so again, you know, go back and look at the film, find out different ways in which we could have kept him out of the paint. Uh, but again, our guy's fight was there. Obviously, just doing that a little bit earlier, would, you know, is what we should what we should have done. Really felt like early on in the game, especially some of the missed shots, maybe drained some of, some of the energy. How, how much was the lift of Paolo finally hitting some shots to kind of lift the offense up and bring that energy up? And then how do you kind of find that energy when maybe shots aren't falling as consist consistently as they were later in the game? I think it's consistent conversations about that. We, you know, you you can say you hang your hat on the defensive end uh, as many times as you want, but we have to continue to understand that when shots aren't falling, you really have to do that. You really have to dig down, sit down and guard, and allow your defense to create your offense to get easy baskets so you're not having to chase them. Coach, uh, Franz had an uncharacteristically quiet first three quarters uh, around like three points and then in the fourth quarter he really lit it up. Um, was there anything in between that period of uh, in between the third and fourth that you spoke to him about you wanted him to focus on uh, headed into crunch time? No, I really think that sometimes we talk about chemistry and guys coming back in the lineups and different lineups. I think him finding a rhythm early on after sitting out a game, you know, that does take a toll on guys sometimes. So him just being able to find that rhythm uh, to get comfortable and analyze the game uh, to, to see the things that he saw out there, being able to, to you know, to grasp it in those moments. Hey, Coach, uh, Jalen comes in for that five-minute stretch in the first, and then we, we noticed he took a shot to the face and then didn't return. Was that because of the hit to the face, or was that in line with the minutes restriction that was, was put on him after the injury? Uh, in line with the minutes restriction. Didn't want to give him too much. Uh, Coach, um, Memphis is known as to be a, a big physical team. Um, you guys seem to really match their physicality throughout the entire game. Is that something that you guys put an emphasis on? You thought we did? I believe so. They are a physical basketball team. No, they 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 grab, they hit, they hold, they 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 understand how they're supposed to play. And you know, for for us as a young team, uh, recognizing that going against you know a top team in the West and being able to, to to come down to the to the wire with them and being able to battle back is something that we have to continue to learn from, to grow from, and take these experiences and you know help each one of these guys learn. <clears throat> Obviously, you want the win more than anything else, but to, to see Paolo get a 20-point quarter the way that he did and, and, and kind of lift the team up, what does that say about the way that he's maturing and the way that he's beginning to see the game and, and feel when he can impose himself on the on the game. Well, Philip, I will say this. Our, our whole thing with these young guys is going to continue to be growth and development, right? Process, you know, over the results a lot of times. Like, yes, we do want the win, but to see our guys continue to grow, get better, go against a team with the caliber of, the caliber of Memphis is, you know, for us to be able to understand that and continue to fight is something that we have to continue to learn and grow from. Coach, you're about the halfway point in the season. Are you about halfway with this group to where you think they could be or a little bit behind schedule, a little bit ahead of schedule? You know, that's that's a good question. You know, and I think what's what we have to really look at is being able to evaluate when we have a complete roster. Uh, we've had guys in, guys out. You know, obviously, COVID, suspensions, different evaluations of what this team can be. When we have a full roster, then it'll be a little bit different to evaluate where we are once we have, you know, a full full body of guys ready to go. Kind of going back to Franz, what does it say about him that he, you know, he takes that time to evaluate the game in that sense, then is able to have a quarter like he did in the fourth? You know, I think it's that that analytic side of him. You know, his ability and his basketball IQ in order to read the game, what's going on, assess how they're playing him, when to pick and choose those moments, and then in that that fourth, he really found those moments in order to get aggressive, how he could get to the line, how he could step into a shot. I think those were great moments for him to continue to keep playing, regardless of what was happening with the first three quarters. Thank you, Coach Mosley. Thank you, guys. We'll be back with Paolo.